My name is Timothy Bryan. I am assistant professor in the Department of Sociology at the University of Toronto. I first heard about the Buffalo shooting late Saturday night. I thought, here we go again. I'm feeling like this is an incident that gets replayed over and over, unfortunately, that occurs over and over, and that families, you know, Black families, families of color, racialized communities have to constantly endure. My name is Sherry Darlene, and I live in the Niagara region. I'm a U.S. citizen, landed in Canada, and uh, most of my family is there. I first heard about the shooting via a phone call from a concerned friend knowing of my ties to Buffalo saying, you need to call and check on your family. Quite frankly, anyone in my family could have been in that store. My father frequents there a lot. I did um, place a phone call to my father who advised, I said, dad, the first thing I said was, dad, did you go tops? And he's like, I was on my way. He said, I stopped by Larry's house, his friend Larry, because they grocery shop together often, to see if he wanted to come. And he said, uh, we just started talking on the porch. We got to talking on the porch, and the next thing then we heard sirens. My name is Dehabo Ahmed Omer. I'm the executive director of the Black North Initiative. When I first heard about the shooting, honestly, my heart was absolutely broken. And it's almost like an instant um, sense of grief, and uh, even though we know that these things happen often to Black communities. It's still a shock and it's still a, a moment of uh, reflection. You know, we talk about anti-Black racism, but there's also anti-Black hate, which is a completely different form of, uh, of violence that Black communities face. And so um, even though it's happened in the U.S. and we're here in Canada, it really does um, transcend borders. Growing up here since the age of two, um, I can attest to the fact that um, it, it, it's it's just as bad. It's just done in a different form. It's almost a polite racism, if it, if I could say. Uh, but it is just as bad, just as traumatizing, just as damaging to um, black people. It's um, it's hard. <laughs> it really is. In Canada, we need to take this the issue of white supremacy racism, anti-Black racism, much more seriously than, than we have in the past. And we have to stop thinking about them as fringe or extreme and start to think about the fact that they are much more mainstream than any of us would like to admit. Only then, I think, can we start to have an honest conversation that leads to productive change. You know, what I would like to see done uh, with respect to uh, this type of tragedy is uh, first calling it out, condemning it, speaking about it, making sure that there's language around motivated hate crimes affecting Black people more specifically, and what we have to do to ensure that these communities are safe. I think it, we've said it a million times what we need, and it's equality. We just want to be treated equal. We don't seek revenge. We don't mean to take over. We don't want power. We just would like e equality.